it's 150 years since um, the first Impressionist exhibition was held in Paris. And we're looking back now at the way in which it revolutionised the way that we look at the world um, through the eyes of the artists. Um, and in particular, it's the front runners like uh, Claude Monet, uh, in front of whose picture I stand now, who led this revolution. Maybe swing your hair around. Oh, yeah. oh, that's great. Thank you. Impressionism was a revolution um, in art. Um, it was a way of breaking away from both the uh, physical form of the tradition in the form of the art school, but also um, the way in which art was actually created. The Impressionists would take their canvases out into the fields and paint their, um, their subjects uh, en plein air in real life, rather than it being a construction in the studio itself. Yes, it's a wonderful painting by Monet um, of the river near his house uh, and famous garden, Givarigny. It was painted in 1885 um, and is absolutely typical of um, the masterful form of Impressionism that he um, was working within at the time, which is these extremely delicate um, tones, um, very um, clever brushwork in which the very transient effects of light are beautifully rendered on the canvas. So this is a painting of George Dyer, um, and George Dyer really had a position of paramount importance um, in Bacon's work and life. Uh, they first met in 1963 and quickly formed an incredibly uh, fraught, tempestuous love affair, um, highs and lows. And I think we see that in Bacon's work. Dyer is a presence in over 40 paintings um, and had a phenomenal impact on him as a, as a person and indeed as, as an artist. And I think what's really interesting about this painting, painted in 1970, at the, uh, just as Bacon was about to have arguably his greatest artistic moment. In 1971, he was afforded the great privilege of a retrospective at the Grand Palais in Paris. And it was the, only the second time that an, a living artist was afforded um, such an honor. The artist before that was Pablo Picasso, who was you know, Bacon's great artistic um, uh, mentor, so to speak, a, an artist who he revered in such high regard. Um, on the eve of that great uh, occasion, that great um, exhibition, Dyer tragically was found dead uh, just 36 hours before. So you had this moment of great personal high and, 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 and critical high combined with this tragedy in his personal life. Yeah. 